Now in today's video we are going to be unboxing and uh, configuring working with this uh, Microtech router board RB2011 and uh, this is how it looks. So this is what we are going to be configuring this router Microtech router board router and uh, if you are to look this is how it comes. This is its box. So let's just start away with the configurations and uh, resetting it, saying to it that it can uh, be deployed onto a network and have it uh, run our network. And it has a uh, it has a uh, ten Ethernet port, five five on each side, and uh, these are the uh, these are the numbers that represent these ones. Let me put, uh, bring them closer. These are the numbers that represent. The continuity or rather the connectivity of the network in case it's up live and running or it's off on connection then it has uh, this SFP port I don't know if you can see this and then a USB port then if we turn it this other side we have uh, we have uh, this I think I think connector as well as uh, the other Ethernet port here and then the power line or rather the power port and uh, this is our power adapter that we need to connect onto this port this dc port that is uh, the direct current port so it uh, runs 10 to 28 volts as you can see so i have connected it and uh, all i need is uh, my ethernet connectors and then connect it to my laptop here after connecting the power line onto the router we then connect the adapter into the wall socket in this case I'll connect it here into my socket so on connecting it it will power on directly to power and it will display that uh, startup message as it's rebooting and it will show you the interfaces and the statics so by default it has uh, an IP address as I hope you can see that it has uh, an IP address of 198.168.1.88.11 uh, that is the initial IP address for this router that we are building with. So once we are done with that, we can then connect our get our Ethernet cable, which is this one, and then connect it onto any port. You can connect it onto any port as long as it's connected onto these front uh, ports. Then connect the Ethernet onto your laptop. So for my case, I'm using uh, a USB converter, converting a USB to Ethernet because my my laptop that i'm using doesn't support it doesn't have an ethernet port so i'm, I'm converting the ethernet to uh to usb so after we are done we can then start the configuration we can then start the configuration then uh, proceed with the configuration we go to the laptop side and go where there is uh, this network icon it will uh, automatically connect to the microtech itself and then the microtech wireless is also here we let's proceed by connecting it will give us this message other people might be connected we just proceed and connect in case we want it to connect automatically we can always connect so I have two connections I have this wireless connection and then the ethernet connection so we just go to our chrome or rather web browser you can use any uh, you can use any you can use chrome you can use uh, microsoft edge firefox any so here we remember our ip address is 192.168.88.11 so that is what we punch in there and it will connect automatically it connects automatically since there is no password for this microtech router it's a new one and it's not password con uh, 
password protected. But we need to connect all that and configure all that to have it secured with the password. The config, uh, we can use in another method, we can use uh, what we call the Winbox. I don't know whether I have Winbox here. Winbox, which is here, you can open using Winbox. Uh, let me try to open run as administrator. And this is how it will appear. This is the router that we have connected onto the laptop. It will give us the MAC address, then the login details that we need to enter. But remember now it's open, it's a new one, so we, shall, we can leave this blank and proceed to connect. So when we connect, this is what will appear. We are using Win, Winbox, so you can use either you can use either your Chrome, in case you have Winbox configured or rather installed on your laptop, you can use a Winbox tool. So they all do the same, they all serve the same purpose. So in my Winbox, I can go to Quickset, and if I use Quickset, it will give me this interface. And now here is where the magic ha happens. So in our Quickset, we can decide so remember we are going to use this router as a bridge a bridge router so in this case we there are these options you can decide to choose either cpa pta bridge application or but me in this case i'll just choose uh wisp uh access point i have i want i want i want to use my router as an access point so this is the wireless name the ssid name that we show which is this being displayed here so you can decide to choose for example let's just call this testing you can give it an ssid name and for the frequency you can leave it to automatic but in case you want to set your preferred frequency you can always uh, set to the max to any number you want maximum of, and it has a maximum of four 2452. So in this case, may I just let it configure it, choose the frequency automatically. And uh, the band, also the same, you can choose, uh, but my preferred is uh, 2 gigahertz. And uh, channel band width, also the same. You can choose the channel band width, but may I will choose 20 by 40 CE country you can choose the country also where you're coming from or where, where you're configuring the router and then the mac address that one you have no control over it it's a it's a foreign key you don't have any control you can't change it you can't do anything so you can choose then the security you can use the security that you want so i will use wp i'll uh, just check all these securities so now this password here is the one that goes to your is the one that you're supposed to punch in. It's your network password. You can choose to hide the password or dis or display it. So in this case, I want it I want it to be displayed. Uh, let me just use testing as my password still testing. So once that is done, here it will show you the wireless clients who are connected to the router. And in this case, it is this laptop which is connected to this router. For now. So let's proceed. Here we want to, you can choose to either use, uh, to route, to use it as a router or as a bridge. But in this case, I want it to just be routing the network. So it's, it's a router. I'll choose static here so that I can enter the local IP address that I want to use. In this case, I will use 192.168.1.70 and uh, the network, the net mask. Net mask, I'll use, uh, I'll take it up to 255.255. .255. Two five five twenty four. Can take it up to twenty four. This one will work for me. I'll give it that range. Default gateway. 
default gateway I'll use 192.168.1.1 then firewall router you can put your firewall router there and then once that is done we can you can even now this password is the password of the administration uh, the, uh, password which is the password that you use to co access this router in case you want so since it is my password i will just type in the password then apply text with at least eight and maximum of symbols oops testing 2023 so let's proceed with that still uh, we need to first restart it so that we can get so you come here to system and then do a reboot we'll ask you whether you want to reboot and you just click on yes and it will reboot as you can see it's rebooting So after rebooting we can then after rebooting we can then still go back and connect remember we changed our password now to panic punch in the password you set so when we check on our quick set this is what we are seeing so we expect to see testing somewhere here on the available networks this one I'm seeing it's still capturing how oh, it can't connect so we need to this is our new new SID wireless network so we need to connect to that and uh, the new password that we put is what we use so in, in this case my new password was it will connect you here but now we have no internet secured because we have not yet connected uh, our router to the uh, to the instant internet side or rather the ISP that uh, line so once we are done with that we can then connect our router this is now the first phase is done so now what is remaining is to connect our router onto the internet so that it can be able to be transmitting or rather providing internet onto other client so let's proceed with it. so once that is done we can then deploy our connect this ethernet cable from the i uh, from the isp internet onto the our router here so you can connect you now this ethernet from the isp onto here you see to uh, blink show you that they are all connected one and four 